Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for uh, watching the video. As you can see, it is definitely time for some new seats on the uh, old Skeeter here. Yeah, these seats are going on 18 years old. These are, as far as I know, I'm the third owner of the boat, so as far as I know, these are the factory seats and they're all dry and cracking. As you can see, the middle seat has the most wear because as you guys that own boats know, a lot of your co-anglers like to use that middle seat as a step to get down, which just takes all the abuse. That's why the new seats that I'm getting do not have a middle seat. It's going to be a step. I always wanted that. I always wanted a bass boat that had a step here instead of a seat. And now I'm finally going to get it. So what I'm doing is uh, I called around, asked around to see how much it would cost to get these seats reupholstered. And the prices range anywhere from like $800 to $1,000. That is crazy for a bench seat, you know, just standard gray uh, marine vinyl. So what I did was is I heard some talk of this place called BassBoatSeats.com. So I went on there and looked at them. It looked pretty cool. It looked pretty good, and they're only they're half the price that these would be if I got them reupholstered and also I get what I always wanted I get a step here in individual seats and also it's kind of inconvenient in the Skeeter uh, SX190 this is one big bench seat you got your tab right here in the middle and you pull up and the whole thing lifts up so if you want to get something out of your side you're lifting up both sides so if you have a passenger and he has something on the seat you gotta tell them, hey man, can you move that out of the way so I can get to something? With the new seats, I won't have that problem. You can lift up each seat individually. So, we're going, hopefully the, the, the FedEx man will be here any minute now. FedEx, your service is terrible. When y'all say the end of the day, you literally mean like eight o'clock at night. So, I'm trying to get these new seats in. I'm trying to get the Skeeter looking all good and cleaned up for the tournament season with the one month break I have in the uh, tournament season. So, there's going to be a lot of upgrades on it and these seats are number one upgrade. I cannot wait to get some new seats. And I did measurements the best I could. This overall bench seat is 59 inches and I think the new seats are going to come out to be about 60 inches. So, fingers crossed they fit okay. But first things first, gotta get the old seats out. Enough of the talk. So whoever owned this gear before me did, already did half the work. Like I said, you take this, pull this up, and you see you have some mounts right there that are supposed to be screwed down, but none of these are screwed down, so they already took them out. And behind this piece right here, the main backrest, uh, all it is is just three hooks that can't hang into it. And all you do is just pick it up, which is what we're about to do. So before this comes out, you have to lift this up so it's out of the way. And then all you do is just get underneath here and lift it up. Bam, it's out, just that easy. And you can see what I'm talking about. No, you can't. Oh, now you can. I got this upside down, but you can see there's hooks. Here's one here in the middle. And there's some down here and some down here. And it just hooks into the back of this. Right here and here and here. So that was easy enough. You got the backrest out of the way. So also for the new seats, I'm going to have to take a Phillips head screwdriver and take all these old mounts out so I can put the new backrests up against there. And plus, there's not going to be one here. And for this side, it's just pretty straightforward. It's just one big giant hinge all the way down. And you just take those screws out. Come on, focus. And you just take these screws out. And also, you can see. I don't think Skeeter put those drain holes across the back. I think the previous owners did. But, you know, it helps with drainage. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, I came out here and cleaned this all the back of this up before, and all these drain holes are clogged with just dirt and leaves. But anyway, I'm not gonna bore you to death. 
watching me take all these screws out of this back hinge. I'm just gonna do it. We'll get the seat out of here and wait on the FedEx man. So you can see <laughs> these are gonna be a very big improvement. I just got them sitting in here right now just to mock them up. So ignore these little leather flaps and everything. I think the best way to go about this is for one, these seats are so new and so thick and heavy right now, they do just fit in here. These aren't the compact seats. These are the full size bass boat seats. I know some of the Skeeter guys on the forum have put the compact ones in here to allow plenty of room. But uh, I wanted, I, I thought I figured the full size would work and they do just barely. Just so if you have a Skeeter SX190, just know these will fit, but barely. Uh, I think the best way to go about this is is to mount the center console first. Make sure it's centered up with everything else in the boat so it doesn't look funky. And then uh, go from, take the seats from there. Now, these backs are just sitting on here. I gotta allow room, like a gap, so I can pull these up. And uh, the only bad thing I'm seeing about these things, which is, it's kind of petty, it's not that big of a deal, is the original uh, storage underneath here you can see is way off. It's way mounted over here to the side and some of it is, ex is exposed. So, you know to be honest, I don't, since it's not that smooth of a job, I don't even know if uh, this is original or not. Those guys who were like, you know, first time are the only owners of a 2001 Skeeter SX190, if you come across this video, leave in the comment below. Did this come factory or not? Because it's kind of one-sided. And then when you put this on top, this overhangs this one more than it does this one. And I know this is pretty centered. So if that was from the factory Skeeter, boy, they had these things all kinds of lopsided. And it's not very smooth in here. So the only thing I can think to remedy that down the road is you'd have to do fiberglass work and move it over. Uh, and that will definitely, if I do that, will definitely be down the road. But for now, this will work. All right, so probably the best thing to do is, is we're gonna mount this center console first. That way we know where exactly center is here on the uh, bench for the seats. And then we'll go from there with the seats. So. We're gonna find center with a tape measure. We got our nice handy dandy Sharpie. To mark the holes once we get it where we want it and figure out where center is. And then we can drill our pilot holes. So let's go ahead and we'll find center real quick. Right. So I measured from side to side. And I got the center of my boat marked. And the next thing what I did was, is I took the console and it's 15 inches from corner to corner here. So I just put a small mark right here at seven and a half inches. And we're just going to line that up on that mark that I got right here. And now I'm just going to hold it right here for right now. And then come around here inside the cup holders. And mark it with my Sharpie where the screws are supposed to go. My Sharpie will reach that far, hopefully. Which it ain't looking like it. <laughs> okay, note to self, guys. Uh, typical Sharpie ain't gonna work. You want to find yourself a pen or a pencil. Should you guys when I'm drilling what I'm talking about. You got three holes on the inside. Two outside holes are for your screws. Inside holes drain. 
That way you're not just seeing the outside of it. You can see what I was talking about, how the old storage holes don't line up very well with the new seats, but it's either here nor there. That's not BassBoatSeats.com's part. They didn't build these specifically for Skeeter. But, you know, I just have to remember to take stuff out at the end of the night, which is what you're supposed to do anyway. So it's not going to be a 100% air hose. So next thing to go in will be the bottom part of the cushion. That way we got an idea of where we need to put the top at. And you see we got these hinges. So the best thing to do is take your hinges, set your seat on here like so, and see where the best place would be. Now I want them to have a tight fit up against the storage container. So I'm gonna do that real quick, put these up here and mark my holes. I can actually use the Sharpie on this one. Alright, so I got my holes marked out with the Sharpie, so we're going to drill them real quick. It's nice and it makes it nice and easy when you just mark them outside. Alright, you're looking at me upside down right now. <laughs> There we go. Maybe not. All right. There's the holes we just drilled. So now we're going to take our bottom seat, put the vinyl up. So it protects the fiberglass. Take our screws. We're not going to tighten them all the way. We're just going to start them. See what I was talking about earlier about having an extra set of hands, how it helps? I'd call that good. I like that. So, I'm going to finish tightening these up and uh, we'll move on to the back. Alright, so now we got to put the back in. And the cool thing I kind of did, cheat, is I got a 2x4 and two 2x4 blocks to hold this up some. While I get an idea where I need to put it in. Because you got to have enough room to reach in here and grab this bottom seat to pull it out and lift it up. So when you're ready to screw and you think you got it where you want it and mark your holes, you just grab this. She's held on with Velcro. And you got these holes you mount your screws at. So I'm gonna pull that up, mark them, and we're gonna screw it on up there. We gotta make this quick because the battery's dying. Alright. Two by fours work great. I got her all mounted up in there. And when you're done. You just take your insert, line it up, stick her in there. Seat opens up. Perfect. As far as I can see, everything looks good and lined up. So we'll just repeat the same process over on the driver's side. I'm not going to put you through the torture of seeing all that step by step. And we'll come back at you when it's all done. There they are. We got them all installed. We're really digging this new stick. And they all lift up, work perfect. That's why, like I said, you gotta leave a little bit of a gap. Anyway, hope this video was helpful to you. If you're thinking about getting some seats from BassBoatSeats.com, I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I'm just, if somebody's thinking about it, here's my experience with them. I'm gonna take a lot better care of these and keep them armor all down and everything. But uh, thank you for watching. If the video helped you out, leave it a like. If you're uh, interested in more like boat upgrades and do-it-yourself stuff, click that subscribe button and hit that little bell next to it for notification. I'm Joe with Densmore Outdoors, and remember, we do more Densmore. We'll see you out there on the water.
Dinsmore Outdoors is proudly sponsored by Bruiser Baits, fish the best. Vexen Rods, strike first with Vexen. And Real Gear, make fishing your style.